Hey everyone, it is Carrie and Katarina, and we are just outside of Montezuma, Colorado, which is near Keystone, Colorado, which is near Dillon, Colorado. So we're out on the kind of the east side or the west side of things today. We're getting ready to hit Webster Pass. Should be kind of fun. It's uh, not a really challenging trail by any means. It's beautiful, there's some nice scenery, but it's the gateway to some other things that we're going to do. So this video will be on Webster Pass. The next one will be on Red Cone, and then the one after that will be on Radical Hill. We're gonna do all that stuff today, but we're not gonna split it up in or put it all together on one video. It's just too much to do for one uh, video. So we're already aired down, we're ready to go. Let's go hit Webster Pass. Now there is so much to see and do here off Webster Pass that camping is certainly an option for you. And just past the seasonal gate at about 0.6 miles in, you'll start finding a lot of dispersed camping. For more information, check out Trails Off Road. They've got some waypoints that will point you in the right direction. Webster Pass is a historic mountain pass located in the front range of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Its history is intertwined with the state's mining boom and early transportation routes. Before European settlers arrived, Native American tribes used the pass as a route through the mountains. They likely traversed the area for hunting, gathering, and trade. In the 1860s, prospectors discovered the pass and began exploring the surrounding area for mineral resources. The pass was initially known as Handcart Pass due to the miners who used handcarts to haul their equipment up the steep slopes. While they found some gold, it wasn't enough to sustain a major mining operation. In 1878, the Webster brothers, working for the Montezuma Silver Mining Company, constructed a toll road over the pass. This road provided a crucial link between the Snake River Valley and the Hall Valley areas, connecting mining communities and facilitating trade. As the pass became more accessible, a small town named Webster developed nearby. The town served as a shipping point and a hub for miners and travelers. However, with the construction of easier routes over the Continental Divide, Webster Pass gradually lost its importance and the town eventually became abandoned. Today, Webster Pass is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. It offers scenic views, hiking trails, and opportunities for off-road driving. The pass is also a popular spot for winter sports, such as snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. Webster Pass's history reflects the rugged and dynamic nature of the Colorado Rockies, from its early use by Native Americans to its role in the state's mining area. Its legacy continues to inspire and attract visitors to this beautiful mountain region. As you work your way up the switchbacks off to about the one o'clock position there where the snow is, you can see one of the trails we're going to hit today. That's Radical Hill, right over there. And it is a doozy. Now coming up straight in front of us is the end of one of the most iconic trails in Colorado, Red Cone Pass. That's the final leg as you come down Red Cone. And boy, can that put the pucker factor in some people. Now depending on which trail guide you use, some will say the summit here is the end of Webster Pass. And the next section is the Narrows, and then you get to Handcart Gulch. Some say it's all the way to the Red Cone Trailhead. Depending on what you look at is gonna determine what they say is Webster Pass or not. For us, we're gonna go down the switchbacks, which some people call the Narrows, and we're gonna head down towards Red Cone.
Now when you come across this tunnel here, it's not a UFO base. It actually drains water from the Handcart Gulch iron mine. So keep in mind that all of the water around here is probably tainted with bad stuff. Do not drink it. Do not let your pets drink it. It is probably not good for you. Considering there's no fish to be found anywhere, my guess is it's pretty nasty water. Okay, well that was Webster Pass. So much fun, not a very difficult trail. So if you're looking for something fairly easy, go ahead and try Webster Pass. You know, we went all the way down through the narrows. That's kind of sketchy if you're not used to shelf roads and some off camber, just take it nice and easy. You slow through there, you'll have a lot of fun. Then we go through the forest and over to Redcone, which is what we're going to do in our next video. So. You want some more footage from here? You want to see Red Cone? Maybe you should subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Check it out, Red Cone Pass, coming up soon. From Katerina and myself, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.